Good morning, fish heads. Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates. We have made it through Thanksgiving. Woo! Got through one holiday. Now we just got to get through Christmas and all of the holiday cheer. But we're going to do that in style because before we get started on this, I'm going to give away this one. We've gone over 500 videos. We've got 6,000 subscribers. I was thinking about doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers, but I didn't. I didn't get around to it. But just as a thank you, I know it's nothing huge, and I still have a Fishmas giveaway coming that's going to be later on in December. It's probably, look for that, like mid-December. Today is December 2nd. It is uh, my cousin Christine's birthday, so happy birthday, Christine. I hope you're having a wonderful day in the, uh, in the office. I'm sure she's working. But as a small thank you for passing 500 videos, we're well over that now, and 6,000 subscribers, I would love to give a bait away. So we're going to do that today. This is a really cool craw pattern. This is the Apocalypse Craw, and it is on that Blitz out of Dinger. And all I need you guys to do, number one, you got to be subscribed to the channel. So you have to be subscribed to the channel, and I want you to comment below on this video. I want to know how you guys would fish this. Where would you fish it? How would you fish it? What would you target with it? doesn't have to be bass. could be bass. Just leave me a comment, and then I will randomly pick the winner with a randomizer comment maker. So that is it. This is a very cool crawl pattern on a blitz. It's technically a mid-diving bait. Goes to around 10 feet if you're dragging it real, real deep. Um, but average depth is probably around 7, 8, somewhere in there. So it's perfect, not just for this time of the year, but for spring, multi-seasons, just for you guys. One of you guys is going to win this. I'm going to close the drawing down Saturday morning. So today is Monday the 2nd. We're going to close this down Saturday, um, whatever day that is. Uh, I'm sure it'll be linked in the, in the description below when I actually look at a calendar. And then uh, we'll, we'll make the drawing on Saturday afternoon, Eastern Time, at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Saturday afternoon. So stay tuned. This could be yours. It's my thank you. It's not the Fishmas giveaway. We do that every year. But as a thanks for going over 6,000 subscribers and 500 videos on the channel, many of those are now not crusty. They are spray sessions and good playlists, tips and tricks and updates. You guys get a peek at what I'm doing here in the shop on a almost a daily basis sometimes when I have the time to do it. I like to keep you guys in the loop. But there you go. Blitz, craw pattern, killer, could be yours. Comment below, subscribe to the channel, and good luck. If you guys have not seen the video on how I made this, this is the Monarch Butterfly. Turn this video off right now and go watch that. Cool. Only take you about 24 minutes to do it. Just waste a few minutes of your time this morning or whenever you have a chance. But go go watch this video. It's pretty cool, and it's a good out-of-the-box for you guys to practice on. Uh, just my interpretation of the Monarch Butterfly. The lure eyes are from Jetson. So thank you, John, over at Jetson Lures. Much appreciated. Um, I get quality eyes from him on a regular basis. And he's one of the best in the game. There are others. I try and link you guys all of the descriptions and the links where, uh, where you can find really cool eyes. I try to be non-biased on this channel and give you guys the opportunity to make your own choices. Because uh, it would be silly not to uh, mention all the contributors. Not just to the channel, but to the custom lore making industry. Which is why I have so much going on here. Because I love them all. So, this is the Monarch on that Dinger S. These two are cool. These two have yet to uh, find a home. I do like them. These are evergreen replicas. Love these coffin bills. Coffin bills are coming back into popularity. They used to be real popular late 70s and through the 80s. And you're seeing more and more of them, mostly in JDM. And if you guys have no idea, if you're new to the custom lore making business, or you're just a hobbyist and you're wondering what the heck JDM is, it's Japanese domestic market. 
Um, and that's a lot of boutique stuff that's being put out. These have got, I've proven these, they've got good weight, they swim really well. Um, and this is my take on the Rayburn Red. It's the Arkansas Little Red. We have a Little Red River here in Arkansas. And it is uh, lowered below the dam. It's quite popular for trout and smallmouth on further down. So, like I said on the, on the social media posts, why let Sam Rayburn have all the fun? We have red too. And the craws are pretty much this color in the late fall. And red is a fantastic winter pattern. This will go down to about nine feet. And uh, these eyes are from Amazon. They're those um, cabuchon or cabuchon, the glass eyes. And uh, they're just, they're beautiful. Love them, love them. But had a lot of fun doing these patterns. And you've got that, that 3D, almost that depth. Although this has got a pretty good collar on it as well for the gill plate. It's got a lot of um, variation in the depth to begin with. So it's a little bit easier on baits like this to make it look like that gill plate is just opening up and closing, which is really what you want. You want to try and imitate as best you can something that would be in, in real life. So there you go. And then the last four here, I think that's it. Yep, these four are kamikazes. And these, this one's going out to Mark Alwyn. And I'm waiting for his Kelly J prop to come in so I can finish up. It's a three-piece order that he's got going out. And uh, I'm doing an Air Force tribute for him because he is a collector. So that is not going to be sold. And that brings me to another topic that has been hot, hot, hot for the last couple of weeks. And a lot of people are talking about it. And that is um, intellectual property rights. And not just with the, uh, the baits and the blanks and stuff like that, but stuff like sports and college and and all those logos that you see and the bottom line is uh, if you're selling a bait and you don't have express consent written permission from whatever let's say um, I had Penn State on here or the Pittsburgh Steelers I can't use their logo without permission uh, I, it could be the end of my business because if, if you're caught, and I know it's an if, and I know a lot of people are wit worthy, you know, they're, they're thinking about taking that risk. I don't recommend it uh, because if, and I've, I've heard horror stories of small businesses and they lose everything because they get sued and they can't, they can't contend with that because they've sold stuff that has somebody else's intellectual property logos on it. So just be very careful. I don't recommend it at all. In fact, I would dissuade you from doing it without permission. So anyways, the reason that I say that is because I just mentioned that I'm doing an Air Force gift for one of my customers who's getting these little grunts, these little runts. Um, these are also John, uh, John's eyes from Jetson. If I can get any closer than that, there we go. Um, it, it is a, it is a gift to them and, and it's not being, he's not making any money off of it. So there we have it. That's all the news that's fit to print. These are on bandits. These are on these bandit 200s, 200 series. So that, my friends, is it for the day. This is that kamikaze bug. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Go watch this monarch butterfly how-to session. Leave a comment below if you want to be entered in the chance to win this blitz. Have a fantastic week. I'll talk to you. The drawing's going to be on Saturday. I guarantee you there's going to be one or two or maybe three videos between now and then. You guys have a great day. Thanks for checking in. It's always good company. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.